Hi, it's me, Van Stikes again, and right now I'm in the parking lot of the church that I go to right now, the St. Albans Anglican Church. It used to be the St. Albans Anglican Cathedral, but that was until um, the bishop of the of this particular diocese uh, retired, and the new bishop, who he actually serves in Georgia, so actually his church, which is up in Georgia, is actually the new cathedral for this particular diocese. Uh, give me a minute, I need to set this down real quick. I hope that phone doesn't fall off. <clears throat> need to make sure that I have everything, and I do have everything. Just lock the door to my truck and just start walking up to the church. So, this is the church that I go to, St. Albans Anglican Church. And this is a church that I've been coming to ever since earlier this year, but I'm trying to remember if I actually came in January or if I came maybe a little bit later. Hmm. I can't honestly remember, but I will say this. This has been the church that I've been coming to for quite some time because this is the only Anglican church that's close to where I live that actually has Friday services because, unfortunately, my job requires me to work on Sundays. It's just one of those things in life, you know, we just, we all have to do what we have to do to make a living. And sometimes we have to make those sacrifices. And believe me when I say that I hate to make that sacrifice of working on Sundays, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to bring home the bacon. We all gotta bring home the bacon. We all gotta put bread on the table. We gotta feed ourselves. Cause nothing in life is free. So, um, <clears throat> this church is under the Anglican province of America also known as the APA, and it, it was actually the Anglican province of America where I first entered the Anglican communion, the Anglican tradition of Christianity. Because the first church that I ever went to was the St. Francis Anglican Church, which was in Kissimmee, Florida, which is where I live right now, and this church is in Oviedo, Florida, and anyone who knows anything about Florida geography knows that Oviedo is in Seminole County and Kissimmee is in Osceola County, and actually, Seminole County and Osceola County, in between those two counties is Orange County, which is where Orlando is. So anyone who knows anything about Florida geography knows that Oviedo and Kissimmee are miles apart from each other. I would say for the most part, it's actually about a... 45 minute to an hour drive depending on which route you take and depending on how terrible traffic is and anyone who knows anything about Florida traffic knows that sometimes Florida traffic can be very crazy especially in tourist areas <laughs> what can I say so anyway it was in st. Francis Anglican Church under the Anglican province of America when I was confirmed into the Anglican communion and ever since then, I've been a member of the Anglican Communion, kind of going to different Anglican churches under different dioceses, going to churches under the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States and the Anglican Church in America. But I would say for the most part, officially, I've been a member of the Anglican Province of America. But next year, or next month, January, I'm actually going to become a member of the Anglican Church in North America. And I'm very happy and excited about that. But um, because of my um, work schedule as of right now, I still have to work on Sundays. I won't be able to go to any church that is under the Anglican Church in North America or the ACNA. So until things in my schedule changes, this is going to be the church that I'm going to be going to. Because, you know, I'm an Anglican. Regardless of whether I'm under the Anglican province of America or the Anglican church in North America, I'm still an Anglican no matter what. And my preferred church to go and worship in is an Anglican church. And for now, this is the only church that has Friday services, because Friday is the um, day that I am the most free. No work, no chores, no other responsibilities, just come to this church on Fridays at noon, and that's that. Here's a better look at this church right now. Isn't it beautiful? One of my favorite things about churches is the architectural design of the buildings. You know, it just goes to show that we are truly made in God's image because God is a creative God, because he created the universe that we live in, and as you can see around us, 
you know, all the buildings aside, when you look at the trees and you look at the flowers and you look at the sky, you just realize that God really is a creative God. And since we are made in God's image, that also means that we are very creative individuals. We're creative beings just as well, and we create buildings like the one you just saw right here. And of course, there's a lot of other beautiful churches out there. What's the name of that one church in Washington, D.C.? It's a Catholic church. I think it's like the National Catholic Church for the, uh, for the United States. Oh, I, I gotta look it up on the internet. If you guys know what it's called, leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know. So, um, yeah. I started out my Anglican journey under the Anglican province of America, but come January 6th, or is it January 9th? I gotta, I gotta check my calendar again. I know that it's on a, it's on a Sunday, and I'm gonna get that day off so I can be absolutely sure that I can actually go to the Epiphany Celebration Anglican Church in Eustis, Florida, which is where the bishop is going to be, where I will be received into the Anglican Church in North America. Sorry, loud motor. Sometimes I can be easily distracted. So come this January, I will become a member of the Anglican Church in North America, and I'm looking forward to it. But like I said, until my work schedule starts to change, this is going to be the church that I'm still going to be going to because this is the only church that actually has uh, Friday services, which works out perfectly for me because of my hectic work schedule. So, um, that's all that I wanted to say. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye and God bless.